for the sake of time. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired you to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee. He daily maketh intercession for his saints, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thine brethren. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17, for our light affliction, not a heavy affliction, our light affliction, not a thing, which is but for a moment, not eternal, for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. I want to talk for a brief moment on the subject from a season of sifting to a season of shifting. You may be seated in the presence of God. Just to give you a backdrop of this story, Jesus had just got done talking to his disciples. Jesus had their last supper. Jesus was telling them, hey, I must suffer many things. I'm going to go to Jerusalem. They're going to beat my face off. And, you know, it's, it's pretty bad. He was telling them stuff that was foreordained. He was giving them prophecy. So from what that tells me, it's a, it was a time of communion. It was a time of imp intimacy and it was a time of comfort but isn't it funny that after a time of intimacy that after a time of comfort that after a time of communion a trial shows up come on Jesus tells us that he wasn't just talking to Peter he was talking to all his disciples because all these afflictions are, are in your brethren as well only Peter wasn't going through that only you're not going through that. Only I'm not going through that. We all go through things together. Sifting consisted of violent shaking back and forth of wheat and, and, uh, and debris, and it would shake back and forth and back and forth. Sometimes we seem like our trial is over, but sometimes it just goes back and forth back and forth. I think I got my breakthrough, but sometimes it just seems to go back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I got my breakthrough. I feel God. Oh, man, I feel like I've been released. Oh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Jesus said very, something very inter interesting in this dialogue. He said, I pray for thee that thy faith fail not. I got to thinking how, how faith can fail because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. God hath dealt every man the measure of faith. So how faith fails is that we take our faith from the word of God and put it in something else. Luke chapter 4, Jesus just had got baptized, a great spiritual experience, doves, the visions of doves, and this is my beloved son, who am I well pleased. Like, it was an amazing time. And then right after that amazing time, the Bible says Jesus is led into the wilderness to be tempted of Satan for 40 days. That's a long time to go through something. Sometimes it's years, but to be tempted of Satan himself, whoa. And when the end of the trial was over, wouldn't you know that Satan said, I'm going to give it one last shot because I know my time is short and the sifting process that I'm putting you through, I got, to, I got to roll. And so the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of God, command these stones that it be made bread. And Jesus said unto him, it is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So the issue of your faith is that after you go through the trial, will you still have faith in the word of God after you've gone through it? Will you still trust God after the trial to still be your provider? When you're broke, busted and disgusted will you still trust God that he will take care of you and the devil taking him up to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of the time 
And the devil said unto him, All this power I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. And I like what Jesus says. Get thee behind me, Satan. Some, some of us need to tell the devil to get thee behind us. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only him thou shalt, shalt thou serve. This sifting process, this trial process, this taking back and forth is really just to see what is in you. And when this trial is over, will you give your worship to depression? Will you give your worship to bad ethic standards? Will you give your worship to bad morality? Or will you give your worship to the only one that deserves the worship? I believe that this church has been through a sifting process. But I think it's time, and I know it's time, and it is time for us to go from the sift to the shift. It's not going to take God long to do what he's going to do. It's time, right now, not tomorrow. Trial is over, finito, done, finished. It is time for you. Y'all don't believe it, though. It's time. I'm looking at some people that have gone through some trials. I'm looking at some people that I know personally has gone through some things. But it is time to transition from the sift to the shift. Amen. Come on, church. Let's don't stop that praise. Amen.